Hi again, I thought I'd make a little quick video with this bike light. I can tell from the weight it's got batteries in and uh, if it's been sitting around for quite a while with batteries in I'm not keeping my hopes up that the battery compartment is going to be in a usable condition. Um, but Curiosity has got the better of me so the first thing I'm going to do is try and get this front cover off. That sounds a bit crispy in there when I squeeze on it. Uh, I may have to set the camera down for a minute while I try and use two hands to free that. I do have a little helper if I need it. So uh, let's try one handed first if I'll come it off. That isn't so. Uh, I'm going to sit you there for a minute. I'm going to try two hands. Nope. On there, good. Ah, here we go. Right, I've freed it. Are we ready? If there's a big spider in here, you will see me run off because I hate spiders. Ooh. Oh, it's actually pretty clean in there. And again, it's got Duracell batteries in it, and they aren't known to leak. Let's take the batteries out. Oh, there's a bit of corrosion on the bottom of that one. A little bit of corrosion on that terminal. What's the other end like? Let's tilt it in the light. Yeah, that's not too bad that end. What's the other one like? They're clean enough. Ah, maybe I can salvage this light. What I'll do in another video, I'll show you what I do to salvage old lights like this. And what I'll basically do is clean up that terminal. And probably clean up this one as it's quite dull. See it's, you can see the difference between the two terminals down there. So yeah, usually if you clean up the terminals, you can breathe some extra life into these old lights. And that is why you shouldn't leave batteries, whether if they're good or not, inside any device that requires them. Because they can leak, and then they'll uh, damage your contacts, and if they're left too long, they'll damage the contacts beyond repair. You'll end up with having to throw out the whole device. I if I can get that lens off, see what the bulb contacts are like. Trying to do this through a camera lens isn't working, so hang on a minute. Bear with me two seconds. Lens off. Halogens. Halogen blobs. Yeah, I like to call them blobs. It's a bulb. Well, I like calling them blubs. Oh, that's nice and clean. Yeah, I should be able to make another pair of these then. Because uh, this should clean up. Then I'll have two pairs of these, and I don't actually know what I'm going to do with two pairs of these. I've got spare brackets in my bracket box. Yeah, I did show you that in my light video my video of um, bike lights, I should say. Uh, I've got several, well, I'll say several, there's actually three different boxes of um, light brackets, different shapes and sizes. <coughs> I find, sometimes, that the standard light brackets just will not work on um, your bike. If you keep lots of different types of brackets together, you can usually make something up. And I've been a complete prep because I forgot to put the bulb back in. <laughs> put the whole light together and forgot to put the bulb back in. Oh well, I can do that later. <coughs> anyway, I just thought I'd show you the light while I took a look at it. 
what I might as well as I I've started making um YouTube videos with some sort of content. It's probably not probably not the most spectacular of videos. Anyway, I'll uh, talk to you later. Bye.